Hello everyone, just going to do a really quick video to show you Number Works Daily, the interactive PDF version. Uh, this is day two and I have the PDF pulled up. I'm going to go to view and make sure I have on the page display it says single page view. And then I'm going to go to full screen mode. Okay boys and girls, let's do our Number Works Daily. Um, and I mentioned a song that we sang about how many in the bulletin board version, you can check that video out if you're interested in that. So how many, okay, let's count how many rocket ships. Uh, who knows how many rocket ships there is up here, and someone may come up with this number two. Uh, anytime you click a wrong answer, it comes to the try again screen, and to get back, you just simply click on try again, and it goes back to the page. So there's one rocket ship. Okay, you'll see an arrow come up the bottom. That means go to the next page. What is one more? If I have one rocket ship and my mom or dad buys me one more, how many will I have? So you can see the line here. You click here and it will bring up one more. What is one plus one? One and one more. How many is it? Let's count them. One, two. One plus one equals two. And then someone can come up and click on this box to bring up the number two. And there it is. There's your correct answer. And a check mark comes up to verify that. Okay, so go to the next page. We're going to do one less. So, boys and girls, Jennifer has one rocket ship and she accidentally pushed the wrong button and it flew out to outer space. Or, you know, some silly story like that. The kids love those. So, what is one less? So, let's click on it to make that one go away. And an X comes up to demonstrate that that's flown away. If, I, if Jennifer had one rocket ship and one of them flew away, how many does she have left? What is one less? take away one or one minus one equal. And someone's gonna say, well, I wouldn't have any, so that would be zero. And there's your correct answer. And at the bottom, you'll see that you're a kid. And you can skip these by clicking back on the home button. Every page has a home button. But um, my kids love these, they've never let me skip them. So, whoop, whoop, good job. Okay, making five is next skill, so let's click on that. Okay, and I mentioned in the other video, you can use whatever strategy you like. My kids use their fingers, and I also teach them to count the blank spaces. So, how many more to make five? So, let's see. Who knows how many? And someone will raise their hand and click on the correct answer. One. So, it takes you to the correct answer page. Go click on the next button. Let's make an addition equation. We have four. How many more do we need to make five? What is... 4 plus something equals 5. What is it going to be? So let's click on the empty spaces and bring up some other olives. Oh, how many more do we need to fill that up? How many are there right here? 4 plus 1 equals 5. Good job. Okay, boys and girls, now we're going to take make a subtraction equation. And that means we're going to take away some things to get back down to four. We had four before, and now I want to go back down to four. So let's start taking them away to see how many we have to go, how many we have to take away to get back to four. So click here. Oh, there's four. See, one, two, three, four, five. Take away. How many did we take away? One. Five minus one equals four. Happy dance. Okay, count them out. Uh, this skill is all about one-to-one -one correspondence and it helps with number ID too. Uh, when they see the quantities and numbers up here in the little box, right now we have zero. So let's count them out to four. Zero, one, and they just click on the spaces, two, three, four. And when they get to the correct number, it will automatically come up as a check mark. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Let's count backwards from four. So we're going to click on them to take them back away. We want to get back down to zero. So let's say four, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job counting them out today, guys. Yeehaw. Okay, comparing numbers. So which picture shows more? And somebody may come up and might not understand this vocabulary, and they may click this button. Always click try again to go back. Okay, more is obviously three. Once they get the correct answer, the check mark comes up. It says, say a comparison sentence. So when, once you model this skill, eventually your kids will be able to say something like this. Three is more than two. Three hats is more than two hats. So good job. Wow. Okay, 
Let's move on and make it equal. There is one girl, and we want to give her, um, we want to make enough dots on the bottom to make it equal. So if we have one girl, how many dots do we need? So you can tell a story here to relate back to, you know, relate the math to the children. Uh, this little girl's hungry. She wants an ice cream. She wants one ice cream. So how many dots will we need to make sure that she gets one ice cream? So they come up and they have to start in the very first box. You cannot click any other box. Okay. So there it is. One and one. We needed one to make it equal. One dot and one girl. That's equal. So, and you know, of course, in the beginning, I have to explain what equal means. Equal means the same. So there's your cheer kid. Really quick skill. Way to go. And I'm going back home. And the last skill is pick it out. And this is the vocabulary skill. And these words will change. Uh, the first 10 days is same. And, um, I'm sorry, the first, uh, yeah, that's right. The first 10 days are same and different. And then it goes taller, shorter, and it, it just changes every 10 days. So pick the card that shows the same. Which two objects are the same? So, of course, if they click this one, it's going to be the wrong answer. They'll go to the try again page. Okay. And this one is the same. Now it says describe the other objects. So, if these two objects are the same, what are the other two objects? How do they relate to each other? And someone will say, well, they're not the same. So, what are they? Then the word different comes up, and that's just good use of vocabulary. You can talk about how those two things are different. And there you go. Go to the cheer page. Awesome sauce. And that's it. That's day two. Really quick. Uh, of course, use your knowledge as a teacher to, you know, elaborate on these skills and help your students to get the most of this product. Uh, hopefully this has helped you and I hope you really um, get a lot of use out of this and see a lot of growth in your kids. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.